Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to debunk this optical illusion in Illustrator. Let's do this. Okay, first thing, I'm going to go to the stroke. I'm going to flip this from fill to stroke. I'm going to select the stroke. going to select the black color. And I'm going to select from here the ellipse tool. Press and hold Shift plus Alt. Create a circle, a big one. And from here, press Control C and then Control F. Press and hold Shift and scale it down upwards. So this way you're gonna create a small circle. Okay, from here, let's select the rotate tool. Press and hold Alt and go somewhere here. As you see, it's gonna show you the center. So if you go somewhere around here and you slow it down with the mouse, it's gonna show you the center point. Click on it and type in three degrees and click on copy. There you go. We're gonna need these two. I'm gonna select both of them. Press and hold Shift plus M or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool. Press and hold Alt and just create a line like this and this way it's going to delete the shape okay so now we're going to swap this from stroke to fill so i'm going to go here to the little arrow and i'm going to swap it so as you can see now it's on fill i'm going to select the rotate tool again press and hold alt and search for the center point where it's right here click and i'm going to type in instead of three i'm going to type in six and then press on copy and from here press ctrl d until it goes round and round i'm going to delete the extra large circle I'm going to select all of these, right click and click on group. From here, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to select the lines and go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm going to create some copies. I'm going to go with, for example, seven. And I'm going to decrease the horizontal and the vertical. I'm going to go, for example, 79 and vertical 79. Okay, so the main idea is these two to touch each other. I'm going to go, so 80 is too much. I'm going to try it out with 79.5. Okay, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, something like this. I think I got, this is going to be pretty good. Okay, seems like it worked perfectly with uh, with 79.83 degrees. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to the object, expand appearance, right click on group, and I'm going to select. I'm going to leave the first one alone. I'm going to select this one, press and hold shift, and I'm going to select the fourth one, the sixth one, the eighth one. Okay, right click, group, right click, transform, reflect, and you can go with vertical, click OK. Select all of it, right click and group. So now we got this perfectly and we're going to check it out. We're going to need to find, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and now we're going to need to find the center point, which is uh, kind of difficult this way because there's like a lot of intersection points as you can see. So I'm going to put this right here in the corner in this zone so I can create a square with a circle because I put this abstract form here, it won't interfere with the guidelines that we're gonna create. So I'm gonna create a circle and I'm gonna create a, you know, rectangle and we still can see perfectly, you know, the guidelines which we're gonna create here. You know, if the other shape is here, you know, it's gonna interfere and it's gonna create all sort of uh, guidelines. So the main idea is to put the square here right into the center like this so i'm gonna right click group gonna drag this in i'm gonna right click arrange bring to front select both and arrange it horizontal aligned center and horizontal and vertical aligned center select the square press and hold shift plus alt scale it up with the circle right click on group now you can select the circle and delete it. Select the square and the abstract form, right click, make clipping mask. And what I'm gonna do is uh, double click on this, uh, double click on this rectangle, select it, press and hold shift, scale it down. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this part. And I'm gonna double click somewhere here to release it. So from here, I'm gonna select the reflection tool, press and hold alt, click here, where's the path? and select vertical, click OK. I'm gonna select both, press and hold Alt, drag it down until they intersect here, press and hold Shift and rotate it like so. And this is how you make this abstract shape. It looks like it has two eyes in here and the mouth goes like this, it's funny. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye bye.